So who did know the Vibes Cartel was a member of a musical band before him turned DJ slash artist? You never know that, don't. <laughs> Just imagine Vibes Cartel play a drum or a play a keyboard. Viewers and subscribers, in a this video, we are going to discuss a few things or the things in the founder probably never know about Vibes Cartel. A lot of us are true Gaza fans, so we are going to test on the knowledge. People want to watch the video and when the video is done, you can tell me in the comment section if you are new to this information or if you know it long time so people we are going on something but before we do that just hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of my videos and also go over instagram and follow me at jamaican drama one so you can get the latest and the exclusive videos them when them drop yeah people so as i mentioned in the intro the first thing we are going to talk about is that vibes cartel was a member of a musical band so this is how which part of a musical career really start when you used to step on a band then you used to go up and play a setup and then you used to go play some functions you get me i say um the funny thing though you know is that that band was also named vibes cartel and there were three members of that band to include cartel so sometime after the band separated and cartel maintained the name vibes cartel but they make some alteration to the spell you know that vibes and a little later bounty killer discover him and you know so the rest of history so people this is one of the things i mean was enough or no probably never know about vibes cartel because i recently me learned this and i years i listen to the teacher so the next thing i want to talk about peeps who did know say cartel has written over 20 songs to bounty killer yeah man that go on i mean before cartel bust big in a dancer scene Killer they have him behind the scenes and write songs and I supply him with whole heap of tough songs, you get me I say? And that and something where hard to believe because we know say enough big artists of them songwriters where I write some hit songs give them. You get me I say? And Carter write songs enough big artists too because he move out of there. Him done and Carter tell himself so that him write five songs give over and turn him in a star. So yeah man. Vibes Cartel has written a number of songs about the killer and this is based on research people so I like say I mean a make up a story. How many of you knew that Vibes Cartel is the only dancehall artist to have collaborated with majority of the top international artists them? Yeah man, Cartel has collaborated with artists such as Rihanna, Busta Rhymes, Jay-Z, Akon, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj and many others. So it goes to show you people say this man no normal, you get me I say? Because there are several, there are a lot of are the artists in Jamaica and when you look and see all them top international artists are collab with Vibes Cartel you don't know that them on levels not normal so you probably know this Vibes Cartel is the most controversial dancehall artist ever this man always have the media talk always have people buzzing you understand and we know that him introduced the whole cake soap bleaching thing uh, him are the reason why then the band bleeps from radio station in a 2011 then they even banned him from going at your waves because them said this man not bring nothing positive to the industry but guess what one it's a strategy vibes cartel knows a controversy sells and that is why he always do some good things where i'll cause him name for your call and i cause him for your talk about so this will help him for you know maintaining relevance in the dental industry so we know what's a cartel smart and it's a strategy we use that is why he's so controversial so the last thing i'm going to talk about make him bet say no phone never know this you understand who did know say vibes cartel had actually written a song for international star beyonce you never know that don't it yeah the song was titled who run the world girls that was done by beyonce in 2011 that song was actually written by vibes cartel and was released on beyonce's album as the lead single for that album so viewers and subscribers decide for the video someone know if you learned something about vibes cartel today or if you already know all of this we want to hear it so leave a comment in the comment section and make we know if you're new to the information or if you already know about them things here so Make sure you like the video and share it to somebody else. And please, people, remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to subscribe and follow me at Instagram. Please. So until next time, I'm out.